Tableau 101, connecting the data. So to connect data, it is quite simple. All you have to do is uh, open a new Tableau workbook. And then on the left hand side, there is a connect panel. Under the connect panel, there are different types of files, such as Excel, text file accesses, as well as there's SQL Server and other databases that you can connect to. So in this um, demo, I'm going to be connecting to an Excel file. So I'll be selecting Excel and then going to my Excel file. Uh, the demo data that I've selected to demo is a Pokemon set of data. So I'm going to select that workbook. So once you select the workbook, Tableau will show you, you know, the connection is to the Pokemon workbook, but within this workbook, there are four different sheets. So in order to load up um, the table or the sheet that of your choice, you will have to drag and drop that sheet. After you drag and drop the sheet, you'll see the, f the fields and the data and, and in the table loaded up at the bottom. So this is a great way for you to do a quick check of the d data types that Tableau had automatically recognized. For example, it has recognized Pokemon number as a number, uh, as a, sorry, as a text, and as well as you know, the totals and the HVs as numbers. So this, if this is incorrect, you can click onto the icon here and then reselect the di a different type of data type. Uh, one of the most common um, uses that I have um, used for this um, data type change was if I'm loading percentages and they are usually zero point something, if it comes in as a number whole, then they will all show up as either number ones or number zero. So it would be good if you come back here and change it to a number decimal so that you can properly show your percentages. So next, uh, you'll see here at the top right hand side, um, the connection area. So there are two ways you can connect to a data set. First is live. So live means that whatever changes you make in your Excel file, it will update live um, in your Tableau file as well. So, but this also means that Tableau will be um, consistently um, and in real time up, uh, connecting to your data set all the time. And this means that it would make the file a lot slower. The other option is to choose extract. So extract makes that Tableau will package the data with the rest of your Tableau file, make it into similarly like a zip file, and package it up so that the data is extracted into the Tableau file. So you must always choose extract if you want to share your file with another person and send it um, to another person to open unless you want to send the data set to them separately and they will have to connect it every single time. So usually my best practice would um, be that I suggest that you always use extract because in that case, um, you will always be able to send your data to another person and they will always be able to open it. Um, on the right hand side over here, we can see that there's other options such as edit and filter. So what you can do with edit is you can actually choose what you want to extract from that data set. So for example, if I decided that um, a certain Pokemon I was not interested in, then I can choose the name as the field that I want to filter by, select all, but I decided that, you know what, um, I don't want to import um, um, Bondly, for example. So I will select everything except for Bondly and then select OK and then OK. So then you'll see here that it will say extract will include a subset of data. 
And this is extremely useful if you don't want to take the time to, you know, manipulate the data outside, for example, in Excel, you can simply just exclude um, certain uh, data from the original data set. And this will make the package a lot smaller and will make Tableau um, function a lot faster. Uh, on the right hand side here, you'll see another filter option. So filter works very similarly to the edit function over here. But when would you use filter versus um, the edit function here? Um, one reason I, I would use filter is if I have an extremely large data set. And um, when you have really, really large data sets, it is, Tableau can react really slowly to every single click that you make. So you don't really want to be sitting there for 15 minutes for every click that you make and every change that you make. So what you can do is you would still extract the full set of data, but then you would come here and apply a filter. And this works very similarly to the extract function. So you would add a filter, um, go to the name again, for example, click OK, select um, the, for example, I only want to see um, Abra. And I will select this Pokemon to do my testing and kind of develop my prototype in terms of the worksheets and the data and the visualization just on this Pokemon. And I click OK. And that will be applied as a filter. But a filter can be easily, you know, um, reverse and removed so that when you're done with um, building your graphs then you can come back to filter and then remove your filter and then you immediately have everything already extracted and ready to go. So once you're ready with your data then you can go ahead and click go to worksheet and then Tableau will ask prompt you for an area to um, store your TBE, which is the extract file. So really you can store it anywhere you like, and then you can press save. So once you press save, Tableau will go to the worksheet, um, the first worksheet, and then it will start creating an extract. So usually this takes a little while depending on how long your and how many rows you have in your data, but uh, usually it won't take too long. And then once you have this screen over here with your dimension and your measures over here, which, is our, which are the different columns, then you know you have successfully uh, loaded the data. So the other part that I wanted to show you was if you wanted to um, join several s sets of data together and blend it. So for example, right over here, we have Pokemon. But what if we wanted to add you know, the different moves to the Pokemon? So what we can do is you can um, select another wor worksheet and drag it here. And then you can see here that right now it is joining by inner. So inner means that any uh, where that it intersects, it will join it. If it's left, that means it will keep everything in Pokemon, but only join the ones that are matched and moves. If it's right join, then it will keep everything that's in moves, but only join those that match in Pokemon. And then if it's fully full order, that means it will join everything in both um, worksheets. So in this um, situation, you know, I'm only interested in Pokemon, and um, but I'm also very interested in what moves they make. And because, you know, one Pokemon can have uh, several moves, I'm going to do a full order. So what I want to do is select a common uh, field that it can join by and in this case it's actually going to be the name of the Pokemon. So I select the name in both and then I clicked um, and then I have uh, and then it will join it based on the different moves. Then again similarly I will go back to my worksheet and then this time you'll see that uh, you get the joined um, data and the one that was blended together. So here you can see that there are some um, fields that are from the moves worksheet and some fields that are from the Pokemon worksheet, but they have been blended together into one um, data set.